Hello, folks. Okay, so I got a treat for you. I got the ZF unhooked, and I found a faster way of uh, showing you the different modes when you put on stabilization. So I'm going to use the Z5 to record it back to the LCD screen, and I have the 40 millimeter on there, and we're going to compare what I'm trying to show you. Uh, what's going on behind the scenes uh, when I turn, if there's stabilization turned off, when it starts cropping. And this is what I wanted to show you. So if I go here to right camera, there it is, okay? And I hit the, try and get it focused. Wrong way. I, I'm hoping I'm not too close. Because if that's the case, I'll have to back up. There we go. That's what I had to do. All right. And try and get it out of the sun, or I mean the light. But anyway, I'll press the menu. And where is it? There it is. Okay. It's a little bit different. Uh, I had to do the, the microphone sensitivity on manual because it was too low on the uh, ZF. But anyway, just to show you, go take out of the menu. I'll uh, just press the I button, okay? Back to menu, okay. I button. It's 4K30, all right? I want to show you something. So, if I go like that, I turn it on. You can see it. there's a crop, okay? But if I go here, and I'm going to go through all the different modes, all the way back to 1080p, okay? Yesterday in the Z8, anything above 60, either 1080, um, 4K, Uh, there you could apply a crop digitally well on this one the ZF watch so there's no crop IBIS is turned off you know if I put on the digital there is a crop so watch what happens 4k 25 4k 30 now watch there's a crop at 50 and 60 okay I think that's the highest it can go yeah and I'm back to 1080-24. So you see, there is a crop. If I press OK, if I go back to uh, regular IBIS stabilization, see, there's no crop, okay? You should see it automatically. Now, if I put it on digital, watch what happens. It's a bigger crop, okay? Let's just go like that. I really don't want to get in the light, so I'm going to try to move it like this. And I'll move the camera a little bit like that. Well, anyway, maybe I'll just turn off this light. Maybe I'll turn off another light. <laughs> okay, that's what it was. And... See if, oh, come on. Focus, there we go. That's good enough. So you can see, I'll just turn it off. That's the point. It's like on this, if we go back here, 50. Once I hit that 4K30, there's no crop. All right? So let's leave it on 4K30. And I'm just going to show you, just by digital stabilization, it crops, okay? But, if I just put it on uh, regular IBIS, watch what happens. Nothing. Okay? So, that's just with the uh, Nikon ZF, okay? 
quick video just to show you that uh, this is a quick way of uh, showing what happens when I uh, show the crop. Okay, now I'm going to show the Z8. This is a quicker view of what happens when uh, I put on the uh, IBIS off and on. Okay, so I'm going to hit the I button. First, I'll go to uh, the view. This is probably the fastest way. I should have done this yesterday. But uh, hit the I button. Okay. And hopefully it'll focus. Or maybe too close. That, that's usually the case. Okay, that's good enough. You, you get the gist. Okay. I could move it up a little bit. There we go. Now it's in focus. All right. So I have it in sport mode. Watch what happens when I turn that off. Okay. I guess I could do that off. Okay. Nothing happens. But if I turn on the digital, watch what happens. There's the crop, okay? So you know what I'm doing, okay? There we go, like that, like that. Now, watch this. So it's at uh, 4K60. Watch what happens when I uh, keep going back down. Yeah, that's a bad way of showing. Uh, let's see, I guess I can use the joystick. Yeah. All right. And you see a crop. No Ibis is on. It's 4K60. Watch what happens. So you don't see a crop, right? Watch what happens. I put on this. See? You hear it moving. So there is crop right there, but I turn it off. K30, yeah, that's the highest. So if I do it on 40 or on 24, 1080, okay. Just regular ibis. I don't see a crop, do you? But if I turn on digital, there is a crop. And watch what happens. I'm going to just move this up. So I see when I go above 1080 60, watch. It doesn't crop anymore. Now I'm thinking it's the shutter speed. That's what I was talking about yesterday. 1080, 100, 120. And then if, see, so it crops again once I get to 24, 25, 30, 50, 60. And once I hit 100 and 120 on 4K, just like the 1080, there's no crop. If I go to 8K, 24, no crop. Okay, there's AK30. So I hit OK. If I hit the, uh, let's say just the stabilization, you know, at AK, nothing. Well, watch what happens if I, see, this is grayed out. So this part, 
below the uh, neutral is where it says off, the E off, that's the digital. So stabilization is off, and watch what happens. AK, AK 25, 24, 4K120, 4K100. Look at that. There's a crop between 60 and 100. And look, I keep going back. It's still cropped. Keeps cropping until I get to 1080, 120, 1080, 100. But then it crops again at 60, 50, 30, 24. Or 25, 24. Okay, so I'm going to put this back at 4K30. No, I'm going to put this at 4K60. Okay, so it's still crop. Now watch what happens. 100, no crop. I'll leave it at 120. I've been practicing with that a little bit. And there you have it. Quick and simple, just to show you that between the ZF and Z8, they're different. All right. Yes, the Z8 has uh, uh, AK, but they uh, do differently with the cropping. So I hope this video is uh, a little bit than the previous three videos, explaining a quicker process of showing you what's going on. Here, I'm trying to get my mouse back over here. So I, I hope this is helpful. Um, it just to show you different cameras do different things with stabilization on. Like on the Z5, it's an automatic crop. But then if the lens is not stabilized, you can't use the, the uh, digital stabilization. It's one of the first full frame cameras that came out. It didn't have that. But when the Z6 and Z7 came out, then you could change some things. Just like on my Z6 II, Z7 II, ZF, Z8, Z9, you can do stuff. You just more features or newer features, I should say. So just a quick video just to show you. Uh, I get into details. I hope this was helpful and help you to explain what to expect when you have stabilization on uh, your camera. Uh, it's a whole different process when you're walking and vlogging and stuff like that. I like usually having the camera on a, a surface and then I can record through my wireless go or uh, lavalier mic. And then uh, but for basically walking or any stabilization like my car vlogging, uh, the car is stabilized, so I don't need to have that on. But just to show you, depending on what camera you have, learn to see how much crop there is, and is it worth it? Do you want things closer while you're driving? You know, so if I had the stabilization on the E, it brings the vehicle a little bit closer, okay? But the problem is, then you might get a wobbly jello effect. So depending on what camera brand uh, that you own does different things with the stabilization. I just wanted to show that to you today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any comments or questions, just put it down below. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe. Keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.